apparently there is even more hot, so let's hope we're gonna survive that. <laughs> so, we took a taxi from uh, Rushikes to this uh, what is that? Nepali farm. It's the place where to get on the bus when you wanna get out of Rishikesh. And uh, they said like it might take like so long time that we should come at least two hours early. But uh, lucky for us, everything, uh, roads and everything were clear. And uh, we got here like, uh, I don't know, in 20 minutes or so. So, does that so, make it lucky or unlucky? It's lucky because we did not have any problems, but unlucky because now we have here like two hours to wait. And here's not much to do, to be honest. It's like, um, we fell on the bench. And we don't even know if we can sit there or not, you know? It's just like someone might come and, oh, get up and we have yeah, to get yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, no, here it's fine. Before we were sitting in, front of some someone's shop so uh, and they open now so we have to move but yeah I will show you around a little bit here it's like very hectic actually this kind of spot they should really make like some kind of like nice cafes and they could make it very nice because people have to come here to get out of Rishikesh so it, it's a good uh, business uh, opportunity actually for people but uh, right now it's just uh, a lot of small shops and uh, and uh, quite uh, dirty and uh, nothing very like I don't know even these most st shops they don't look very appet appetizing appet appetizing appetizing oh? appetizing appetizing is that a word? It is yeah yeah appetizing right yeah my English English is not my first language uh, but uh, yeah. It's quite dirty and uh, not many spots here to like sit and stuff. But it's still both. We've been in worse, worse places actually. So yeah, it's okay. Also, not also to mention, just to say it out loud, the temperature is 44 today as of right now. Is it? So yeah. You checked? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's a heat wave here, so it's uh, it's very hot. That's for sure. And we are not used to the heat yet. For me, two months ago, I was in uh, minus. I was in Lapland, Finland, North Finland, where it was very cold still. It was snowy and it was cold, minus 15 or something. And now I'm like in plus 44 in India. So uh, life's interesting. <laughs> so yeah, not much happening here. Here's just some tuk-tuk cars, stuff, little shops. Yeah, My, a lot of trash. And yeah, we're just like under the bridge. Yeah. Also, last year when we were backpacking, even if I had to like go in a bus or like any public transport for like two, three hours, I would feel butterflies in my stomach and I would feel so nervous or anxious for no reason. But after backpacking for one year, now we had to take a 17 hour bus and all I can think of in my head is Pedro, 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 Pedro. <laughs> so that's yeah. a good change, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, like, anxiety. Yeah, you know, it's like, just whatever, whatever happens, yeah. happens, you know? Like, what so can normal. really happen? It's yeah. like, we missed the bus, we stay one more night. That's the worst thing yeah. that can happen now. But before, back in the day, I would think like, ah, oh, we missed this, and then, oh my God, what would happen yeah. to us, and stuff like that, so. So far, so good. You, you have come a long way. Uh, that I have. That I have for sure. Still waiting. Don't know where exactly the way to. No idea where the bus goes from. There's a bunch of other people going to the Ramshala. Because we're the only ones going to Varanasi. Go against the flow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> made it on the bus. It was like an hour late, but we made it. We made it, yeah. Got like, um, got like a little bit scared for a second that you know they might just skip us because it was like only two of us getting on the bus to Varanasi from Rishikesh because Varanasi as of right now is like 50, feels like 50 yeah, degrees. Yeah, it's too crazy. I don't know how we're gonna survive there. Yeah, but mm. so far the bus is like pretty average, nothing special, nothing bad, just in between. And this is our home for the next 17 or 18 hours, we don't know how long. This is how it looks, there's like a hangar where we can put our backpacks, maybe if they fit, but most likely not. There's, I'm almost 6 feet and I can pretty much just put my feet all the way down, 
and we also got a blanket and there's like pillows underneath me or like pillows are in the seat already mm -hmm. also privacy curtains like no doors but privacy curtains and the view outside oh, the view outside is still of mountains we just somewhere outside of Haridwar right now and that's our home one of the things which are like sometimes bad with this long buses is like the restroom the washroom stops are very very less or like very like distance you know like they would not very often yeah not very often like they would stop maybe once every seven hours sometimes it was like yeah, yeah we waited like nine special. hours or something for a washroom and this one at least it says that it's gonna stop somewhere at 8 30 for dinner and after that i have no idea there's probably one before midnight and then i think it's yeah. like longer like five six hours more and then in the morning sleep. again probably yeah and then we sleep like until as long as we can hopefully there is yeah, yeah we've had few experience where it's like 12 hour bus ride and one stop one right? yeah and that was also like few hours before the end and uh and this yeah. bus is like going so far too like 900 kilometers something far yeah so, and there's like several stops on the way like they're gonna like take people and drop people and stuff like that so yeah. hopefully there's a lot of stops yeah. it looks like this on this bus you can close the doors and stuff too so it's like privacy here too Did you know that in India they're making 38 kilometers of highway on average every single day and all these highways are equipped with like very clean washrooms and like very good restaurants to eat and stuff but every time we take this kind of long night buses they stop at some places which are so bad to like eat or use washrooms yeah. say something about that I did not know the fact about the highways and it is true that they always stop in the like worst places i guess the cheapest possible yeah and i sometimes i think like these guys have a little like contract with these restaurants like oh you bring people here to us and you get free food or something it's probably like that because otherwise it would not make sense plus it's cheaper for them to eat even if it's not a but contract or anything but my... it would be nice if they stop in the nice places because we have done that sometimes in the galleries Oh, the Scar is, is walking almost next to us, but my question is like if we have all these nice washrooms and all these nice restaurants Then why aren't we using them? Who are they really for them? You know? Uh, well, therefore There would be people going there, but I guess uh, some people always uh, Would choose the cheaper option. Yep. I don't know what he said I don't know too, but just like that, we are in Varanasi now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, I guess that's it.